It was part of my senior clinical project whereby I looked at the sepsis care bundles on the ICU department. Um, I collected some baseline data and I devised and implemented a new sepsis care pathway. I think from my baseline data it showed that not all the steps of sepsis management um, are being followed and a lot of the clinicians are doing a really good job but having some sort of checklist can ensure that all the correct drugs are given, they're given in the time sequence and they're given in the time frames that are necessary. I think it would just increase, like further increase mortality. Mortality is quoted between 30 to 70 percent, so it would be, be awful if it, it got any higher. Yeah, I mean, starting the project was meant to be um, just a, a, a kind of clinical project. We didn't realise that we'd be entering um, something such like this. So I think it's important, especially as a medical student, to realise that these errors shouldn't happen on a day-to-day -day basis and realising that you can improve patient care and improve patient safety just by being a little bit more pernickety with your care. I think just giving it 100%, I guess, just making sure that you do um, follow the guidelines and not just be like, oh, I've got the gist of patient care, but making sure that you follow it out fully.